welcome. Yeah, here we are with the 1982 Honda CM450. If you watch my other videos, this conversion has taken just over a year, year and a half here to take this little small cruiser into kind of an adventure bike, a street scrambler or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, we just got back a few months ago from uh, the Murr, the Mega Enduro Rally, where we uh, took these bikes, older bikes, and uh, went camping on them and did some gravel roads and things. Uh, so check those out. But uh, I thought this video would be all about kind of some of the things I did just before that trip and some of the things I've done after after learning and spending four days on the on this bike. So uh, the first big thing that we did, uh, the shock here. So I did get new shocks, this RFY shock. Uh, if you, they're not that expensive, 130 bucks, but I did have to modify them to to put them put them in there I'll, I'll talk about that soon but uh, the reason for the new shock is the stock shock uh, if you saw the video I had to uh, had to double Chris he uh, hit a rock and uh, his oil pan was broken and then leaked all of his oil out and his uh, his engine seized and uh, so I had to double them so two dudes on this bike uh, we you can see on the tire here all right here, here you go so little notches out of there and basically it would it would bounce up and it, it caught there's a little bolt up there that it would bump into so needed to get a little better better shock so we put in these rfys and yeah the air shocks and they work really well a lot better than stock um the modifying on this side i had to do just like the stock ones there's no nut on the other side of this because it's too tight but I had to drill it and tap it and then use Loctite to kind of make sure it stayed in its place. So there you go, some things there. Um, oh, I'm, I do like this little luggage piece. I use this for going around town, uh, this tank bag, magnetic tank bag. And basically, yeah, if I need to carry some things, store some things, it just goes right in there. Just like that, that's, that's good. Um, I did actually change out the pegs, these pegs, we're not the original ones. Um, I just put these on and more dirt bikey, more adventure-y um, and they look better. Um, I did have to grind out in here uh, so it could rotate, but yeah, they're really good. Um, since we're in this area of the bike, my clutch was slipping and definitely with doubling Chris and we noticed on the highway, uh, it was actually the engine was doing great, doing 100, 120 kilometers an hour and um, but it would kind of start to slip a little bit too. So I uh, had to change that. So I had to take this off and actually, uh, so that's great now. Um, and then here, here's how you adjust the, the cam chain. Uh, you take that out and you loosen the knot and then tighten it up. Uh, that was actually stopped adjusting it. It was a little rattly. It was kind of not, not normal for a Honda, but yeah, so having this off, I just took this, it's got a little spline section you pull off and so now it's adjustable again. So. Yeah, it was, it's still in spec, so yeah, really good. So happy to have done that. The other thing I did just before the Murr was installed the skid plate. I uh, made it myself. Uh, I bought a welder a year ago. It never welded before, so watched lots of YouTube videos and that. And uh, yeah, so actually, so these bash or crash bars here welded on a little bracket here that I could then put some holes in there and attached this skid plate that I made. So yeah, pleased with that, not perfect. But yeah, my first ever project, so pretty proud. And of course it stopped rocks from hitting this and taking out the uh, the oil pan. Or, and so I didn't have to seize my engine. So yeah, Chris uh, definitely wants to do that for his, once he fixes his bike. Uh, other things that I have done up here, I did add some uh, hand guards. So these hand guards, more wind deflectors and hand guards. But I did notice on those cold mornings that um, even with the heated grips, it would have been nice to have some protection, even from bugs and things. We went through a field of bugs, so a little bit of protection there. So I'll test ride those in the springtime. Um, up front here, I did actually have this on the mirror. I, I put in a new, use the stock housing, but I put in a, a LED headlight. Uh, so with high beams and that, so turn that on so you can see it yeah it's nice it's got a that's on low beam it's got the little running lights and then high beam those go off so yeah nice nice feature um, 
so a lot more sturdy as well as I um these brackets here I it had some kind of cheaper brackets that I had but now I've installed bought these as well installed it and this thing is solid now it was rattling around a bit on the mur now it's solid um, oh and I also I was test riding the uh, the bike uh, on some dirt and uh, big bumps and I see my little Honda that comes across here bounced off the bike I have no idea where it went and uh, the guys have been bugging me about the color of the bike saying it's brown give me a hard time uh, fun give me a hard time but you know all in fun of course as friends do but uh, yeah so I've embraced the brown and found the sticker so brown chicken brown cow <laughs> welded this plate on there and got some patina on there now too kind of matching the bike so yeah good stuff uh, other things I've done when I was test riding I realized that uh, I actually lost a key I hit some bumps and the key this key actually comes out you can see it's on now and the key easily bounces out of there so to secure that I uh, I devised this little process where I super glued some neodymium magnets and uh, of course got this so I can take it off put it in my pocket as well as you know open up the gas cap and things but to kind of secure it in place right it's there so if the key pops out it doesn't go anywhere so yeah that's uh, another feature oh and I finally found a new um, speedo a speedo went to a swap meet so for I think ten dollars I didn't know if it was going to work or not but cleaned it up and painted it and made it look good added this piece and uh, yeah it actually works great so finally uh, it's a nice smooth speedo so kind of stock and matches and yeah that's the last last thing I've done so yeah that's the the real update on the CM 450 1982 and uh, adventure build on a budget and yeah look forward it's winter right now so it's December 2022 so look forward to getting out in the spring and and uh, going on more adventures I'll put some more videos together cheers uh -huh.